Good morning, Pisces. What's poppin', my boo? What's poppin'? Check this out, Pisces. Thank you all for last night. Oh my God, I had the time of my life on my prop live cast. Um, it was nice, and I love each and every one of y'all that support me every Sunday. I love it, love it, love it, love it. On Sundays at 6 o'clock, I run a live podcast um, on Pisces Studio, okay? And I will be giving out free tarot cards every Sunday, okay? Um, and it will be a drawing. So um, come join us. Be a part of it. We have a lot of fun now. It's three hours different because I live on the East Coast. So if you live in California, six o'clock uh, will be what? Four o'clock for y'all. So yes, and I always have different people talking and we do different things, talk about all kinds of stuff, but we do have fun. So you can join us every Sunday at six o'clock California time. It's four o'clock. All right, three hour different. All right, I thank you all for those who joined me last night. I had a good time. Now, excuse me, for all those, please don't forget to wear that mask, gloves, gear up, okay? Please, please, please gear up, okay? Also, start getting stuff that you need in your house. Anything on sale, get it. It's the holidays. They always put sales out there, okay, that you normally don't get because it's the holidays. And they want to make sure everybody got food on the table. And they will help out, right? So get what you need, all right? Thank you a million for all those who like, share, and subscribe and give me thumbs up to my videos, all right? Share my videos with people that matter to you because I have a spiritual channel here. It's just not a tarot card. It's very spiritual. All right. My YouTube is different, very different. So um, to all the YouTubes out there, I love y'all. I love all of y'all. Um, thank you for all those who go to my web and purchase any one of my items and people was telling me about my necklace of my archangels you know you need this archangel you know who he is Arch Michael. he will cut anything and everything that don't serve you right in your life okay look for him and you're gonna find him to do your job that you stuck on and can't get out of get in there and ask him to remove it okay and i also have stage and these are homemade, and I have a lot of other stuff, okay? Um, bracelets and all. Um, also, for those who get <clears throat> private readings for me, know that my private readings do not have a limit time. And also, I give you spiritual advice before I do any of it, okay? And um, they're reasonable because you can't get my price nowhere for a face-to-face -face one. Nowhere. And you ain't going to get the time of length I give you. Nowhere. And if you can find it somewhere else, please bring it to me. Okay? Let me know where you're going to get what I give you for that price. Nowhere. Nowhere. Okay? Also, um, thank you for all those who donate to my channel. Believe in me. I truly appreciate it. And God will give you your abundance back. Okay, when you get from your heart, all right, and I want to say thank you for loving me because I also love you too. Thank you for being a part of my YouTube. Thank you so much. Let's get this party started. Pisces, here we go. The bottom of the deck, you got the two of cups.
Somebody want to work something out? You got three Agua Pinnacles. Somebody wants to work something out with you. Someone is trying to work something out with you. Someone may be coming back around to work it out. Someone really, really wants to talk to you. The Nine of Wands. Pisces. You got the Two of Cups. Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer may be part of this whole thing. Oh, it can really be anybody, but it shows here that sign particular. All right? So it might be someone like you, like a Pisces or, or Scorpio or Cancer. We don't know. It could be anybody, but that represents this particular card. It has a man and a woman there. And this man and this woman are toasting. They got two glass. Toast. Okay. Someone seems in this particular car, seems like they are looking at you and you looking at them. But you looking at them in a with your, side, with your eyes sideways. And they looking at you direct. Okay? I see a lot of books. Um, lots of books. Um, lots of books. This person here okay I see a lot of books um books yes a lot of books I see something that maybe this person is studying also um Maybe it's two people trying to communicate with each other. It's two people that had something going on and want to work at something here. Um, uh, let's see. I feel like... Um, My heart is open and filled with love. A new connection. Did you hear what I said? A new connection. Brand new. Brand new, Pisces. Honey, a, a brand new connection. To me, that is good. Because it ain't nobody that you know. Brand new. And I love that. It's brand new. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I am so over everything that I don't even want to remember none of it. It's, this is brand new. Brand new, and this is going to spark something really nice. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I claim it in Jesus' name. And I claim it for y'all in Jesus' name. Okay? Yes, I do. Brand new. It's a brand new connection, a brand new romance and relationship, a friendship. Something is starting from a seed, from brand new, like a brand new seed. Thank you, Lord. Okay. A seed of love and hope. A newfound emotion awaits your heart. Something new. You're saying, I don't want to go back to nothing. I want something new, damn it. And I'm claiming a new. And me too. Okay, it says joy, positive outcome, want some blossom, 
creativity. So maybe you're going to be meeting this new person at your new job. Something you're coming together to do. Okay? But it's new. And it's going to start off real nice. Like a real friendship. You're not even looking at to see this person like wanting a relationship. You're going to meet this person and you're going to be friends with this person, not sleeping with them. Friends. Isn't that nice? It's different from anything you ever had. And I know it's going to be different from what I had because God said I give it to you with a plus. And he's giving me a husband. He ain't giving me what I'm used to. He's giving me something brand new. Thank you, Lord. Okay? Now. I'm going to say something to you. Make sure that you don't look at this car. It said brand new, but I'm going to tell you something too. Because, you know, I like to keep it real. Make sure that you don't look at this like a time to nurture more self-love. And that's what you need to do. Making sure you aren't re repressing your emotion. Opening up the possibility of love. That's what you need to do. Love yourself more so you can give love. Nurture your emotions. Get that shit in check. Okay? Because you need to get your shit right. Okay? You don't want to repeat nothing that you've been through. All right? And please don't tell nobody about your past. Because you'll ruin everything for yourself. All right? Now, this is saying a positive message. Okay? Of vibrating new beginnings. As the Ace of Cup makes a genesis. A relationship, emotion, connection, and deep feelings of love and friendship. It says deep feelings, deep feelings of love, okay, and friendship. That's beautiful. Because I never had that. Mm -mm. No. All right. And it says your emotions are powerful and magnetic. You are creating your abilities to call on at senses, okay, and profound, radiant feelings of your conscious, sending it to your heart waves out into the world. You are sending the blue and the green. It's like you are in touch with your inner self and you sending the blue and green out in waves to the world. And when you send that part of you, people start seeing you different, right? They don't see you the same. They see you in a different form. You're not who you used to be. You're somebody new and want something new. You want better for you. You want someone that can literally lift you up and make you feel alive again. Okay? Okay? Because your eyes are not deceiving you now. They're telling you the truth. All right? Don't jump for anything like you. If they say you look good, you want, uh-uh. Don't jump for that shit. Jump for what you know. Look at the person. Listen to the person. It's important that you know. People lie. All right? And the littlest thing that don't make any sense to you, that definitely ain't the one. All right? Learn that. Learn that good things come to those who wait. And good things come to when you see the light for what it is. All right? Because you're used to having a bunch of people coming to you and using you. Because you're quick to throw the red carpet because you're on, a, you're on a level in your life that you should be looking at yourself like you deserve it. 
Why would you look at yourself and look under? Because when you look under, you look at people to be under you. And that's when you're going to work for love. You don't get love because it's coming to you from their heart. It's because you're going to work at it. And if you got to work at love, it ain't for you. Because nobody should work so hard as someone to love them like we've been doing all our lives. Leave them alone. They're not for you. It's better to come. And it says it right here. New. Brand new shoes. Brand new clothes. Brand new everything. Everything, honey. Everything is brand new. You know what? You know, you know that smell? You know that that smell when you get in a car that's brand new in a house? Or you put on something that's brand new? You know how that feeling makes you feel? Crispy. You popping the tags off of your shit. That's how you look at a person. Pop the tags off them. Smell the new scent that they got. That new essence that they're carrying. Because you are worthy of it. Okay? So. They will become powerful. Magnetic. For your awakening. This new arrival. A romance. And the effort of joy that you are calling into your life. You are capable of love. Okay? So checking in to make sure that you aren't repressing your ability to connect with others as a result of being overprotected. Okay? Keep your mind open. Right? And don't overprotect your heart. Okay? Be gentle to yourself. Admire yourself. Because what you think of yourself is what you're going to get. Okay? Do you understand? Be gentle to yourself. Alright? Mindful is sending the love you feel to your own heart as well. Isn't that what I said? Be gentle to your soul. Love yourself. Honor yourself and respect yourself because that's what you're going to want someone to do for you. All right? Okay. Forgive yourself for your past mistakes. Got that? And find the foundation or the fountain ahead of healing. When you forgive yourself, you can heal. All right? And you don't keep talking to yourself of everything you allow people to do to you and how people treat you and how they made the directions to your life. Okay? They directed you which way to go in your own life. That was crazy, wasn't it? I look at all that shit now, I must have been cuckoo. Crazy to allow someone to literally navigate my life. And the sad part of it is, when you allow people to do this, they don't think they're doing anything to you. Why? Because that's the way you allow shit to be. So in their eyes, they never did nothing wrong. Okay? With, so when you, you heal, you're going to heal with a great amount of self-acceptance get ready to expand exciting affairs are are coming and it's time to you to open up you give yourself permission to deepen your keenship with the life around you so what you give yourself permission is to live the life to choose that you are allowing to have around you. So what you bring to yourself is what you're going to receive. What you put in your body is what you nurture yourself. Okay? What you put in your thoughts is what you think. Okay? And what you speak, you're spitting it out, is what it is. All right? So everything comes within 
you. And then you open up your eyes and your mouth. And then what you see and what you speak is what it becomes. So you got to pay good attention to what you see around you. All right. And how you place yourself in situations. Do you understand? What you see around you. And when you place yourself in situation and you start speaking, it's how people see you and what you draw yourself to, okay? You speak negative, that's what you're going to get, a bunch of past. You speak positive about you and what you want, you get the future, the new, okay? It's important that you know that. And then... You come into the three of pentacles. And the three of pentacles is like a project that you're going to be working with others. Okay? And the thing about it is, is someone like, you're reading the ingredients out loud, someone mixing it, and then someone puts it together. Right? You got that? It's people working together. All right. And you got the main ingredients to what? To what you want to do. And you're going to have people helping you put it together. And that's how you're going to meet this person. Or it's, something's going to happen that you're going to be connecting to this person. All right. Um. I feel like, and that's the pinnacles. That is earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Now you got a couple people, different signs that may be, okay? Um, when I look at this, I think of, um, I always think when I look at this, it's like you're stepping into this vibration of this connection with this um with this, um, like a project, like you're putting it together with a cooperation or a corporation, something that you're going to be working together at. Cooperation, um, cooperation in, uh, community, teaching and learning, sharing and listening. Teamwork, there is no limit to what you can do and manifest together. You're coming together and someone is going to work with you. And it's something like you never had because this person wants to work it out with you. Work something with you. Okay? And it's going to be perfect because you're going to they're going to feel like they're helping you and not using you. Okay? And when you teach people lessons as a teacher, a real teacher, maybe some of y'all got your own <clears throat> school or something y'all teaching people, right? So it's saying that when you teach people, right, you work together at something to build something. But you got to remember, you teach people, right? It's a teacher in school. You teach first grade. So you're teaching that baby how to go and become bigger because it's a baby. And that's what you have. A bunch of people around you that want to learn from you, right? And then they, you, you let them graduate. They graduate and they go to second grade, right? And they learn. And what that means is as you teaching these people or becoming part of something that's going to be great for you, all right? Doing this together is that you brand people to grow. And that means that as you teach them, they also grow. And when they grow, 
that whatever you're teaching them, they got the right to take that, all right, and move on with their lives, right, and graduate from you and make money, just like you, because that's the blessing, is coming together and working together, okay, cooperating with each other, growing from each other, and allowing each other to also expand. And expand means grow, right? Because that's what it's about. My YouTube is about growth. And I want to give you the tools that you can use in your life to grow. Okay? I don't want to stop your growth. I want you to grow, right? So that's in anything you're doing in your life. You want this relationship that you're coming into to grow. You don't want it to stop, and you don't want them to stop you. You want someone that's going to allow this relationship to grow, okay? And you, remember, it's two different people, and it's people with different hearts and different souls that connect to work together, okay? And you got to remember that you cannot control anyone, all right? You got to let it grow naturally with a good cooperation because, because when you can cooperate, you come understanding and you look at the picture for what it is. You are a teacher. Okay, you're a teacher. You were born like this. And therefore, you allow people to grow. All right? You want the best for them. You allow them to make money just like you. That's what it's about. It's about growth. Okay? It's about working together. To see your growth, to see that plant grow. And the more you nurture yourself, yourself, the more you become brighter and bigger and bigger. Because you need to understand that you can only nurture you. Do you understand? You cannot. Nurture someone else to grow. If they don't want to grow and cooperate, then they're not for you. Okay? Because they will stop your growth. You need to be around people that want you to grow and that you can allow them to grow from what you're teaching and make money because that's what it's all about. People are not in your life and you got something going on and you want to teach people and you want to say, oh no, you can't make money off of this because I'm making all the money. That ain't how I go. Open up. Okay? This cooperation, unity, okay, for you to grow in this community, relationship that's going to be beautiful, okay? And that's what it means. If you focus on yourself and don't take the focus off of you and what you want and don't take the focus of what you want in every level, in you, your career, relationship, that's what you're going to get. But you got to focus on you and don't take your eyes off of you. Because as soon as you put it on that person, you take the focus off of you. You got to focus on you. Okay? Because this is a union that's going to be good. All right? And this person is going to want to work with you. Do you understand? I want to say something else. This car right here is the infinity sign. 
infinity. All right? It says, just like this, the eight, number eight. All right? And here, you got this shit again, and you can't make it up. You see that? The same sign right here. That dollar bill sign that says, this is going to be good. A dollar bill sign, boo-boo, right there in the middle. Infinity, that this is meant to be. It ain't no mistake. It's meant to be. You understand? Um, it's beautiful when you can do this. When you can look at this, it's a beautiful thing. Okay? Because you're working together with others and to give us with the opportunity to learn from one another and to blend and to emerge and to create something totally new. Look at you. Look at the cooperation, all right, as you mentor, okay? Okay, apprehend or both co-creative together for a good of the whole powerful magnetic. You're going to whole create something together that's going to be good, all right? And this team works. It's called a teamwork in a community cause called for you to forward to and, and to add your essence to this bigger to the picture to make it a bigger picture add your essence who you really are add that energy of who you are to this cooperation and this union because you're going to be working with people okay and remember that Remember that your relationship are the base of your well-being. And that's what I said. Focus on you and focus on yourself because you are the foundation of your own. Can't no one build you or make you. You are already made and built to withstand anything that comes your way. Do you understand that? And therefore, can no one do that for you? And that's what I'm trying to make y'all understand. That can no one take you off path unless you let them. Okay? You got that? Um, if you are having trouble with others, seek to... Um, alliance, alliance goes in order to be creative and peaceful in union. If you having trouble working with others, you need to align yourself once again so that you can work with people in this relationship, okay? Because this is a relationship, babe, that you need to align yourself. And when you feel like you're going off track, Come right back on the track. Take your focus on them and put it on you. And that's what's going to change things. Okay? Mutually benefiting a relationship place equal importance on each person. Okay? Novel wisdom and the way of being in the um, world. So the way you navigate and you look at each person, they're individual. Everybody ain't the same. Everybody is not the same. Everybody is different. You need to focus on you. Okay? On you. And don't take the focus off of you. All right? Um, when you do this, right, when you do this, 
you know that each person has different wisdom and different way of being in the world. Regardless of what regardless of the relation, okay, or regardless of whoever they are, everyone has something to bring to the table. All right. Everyone has something to bring to the table. New ideas to, to grow your business, to grow this. Because this is coming together in a relationship that you are going to grow from. But it says working together. It's working as something you want to do. All right? And people are going to come with different ideas to the table. That's going to help you out. Help you grow. Okay? When life paths are unwinding and striving to create harmony, status, as you wave your way in and out of one another's day. As you come in and out of people's day or as you come in and out of relationship that you in, you got to remember that it's a wave and you got to ride the wave. You don't go against the wave, you ride it. Focus. Okay? Don't go against it. Ride the wave. Okay? Go with the wave. Sit on the passenger side and go with the flow. Okay? Let someone else for first time in your life ride you. And you be the passenger and relax. Just go with the flow. Okay? Do you understand? It says, welcome people into your heart and open up doors of possibility that don't that did not exist before. When you allow to sit in the passenger seat, that person, it's like you said, God, take the wheel. That's what you said. You said, God, please take the wheel to my life because I never get people to love me. I always get people to use me. So you said, God, can you please take the wheel this time? And guess what he did? He bought someone in your life, brand new, and he placed them there, right? And guess what? That person is putting you in their car, and they're driving, and you're not used to that because you're used to driving them around. But now they're driving you, all right? And they're, and God is telling you, go with the waves. Don't fight it. Go with it. Because as you go with the wave, you open up your heart for things that you never experienced in your life. In your whole life. Go with it. Go. Just go right on with it. And you're going to see that it's your match. Because now you don't have to fight nobody. You're going with it. It's this it's not only is it a relationship, but you're going to be working together at creating something beautiful. Because not only is he taking a will, but he's very smart. He knows what he wants and he's about it. That means that he could take you on the next level of your career and bring people to work it out for you. All right, in a way that you're gonna grow, you understand? You got that? Okay, and then you come into the nine of wands. All right, the nine of wands to me, um, since I see everything you're going through and everything we've been through, but now it's saying the nine of wands, right? So the nine of wands is saying to me, and this is beautiful because. You're coming into something beautiful, all right? You're coming into, or you are in a brand new relationship. I have not been there yet. Maybe some of y'all have because we're on different levels. And this person is working with you. I don't know. It ain't happened to me yet. But I am waiting patiently. I'm not in no rush. I'm waiting patiently for this. 
Oh, yes, I am. I got all the patience in the world for this go around. Yes, I do. Because it's going to be my husband. I can't be picking anybody and anything. I'm chilling. I am so chilling. And while I'm doing it, I'm working on me. I'm, I'm working on this whole new look about me. That when I step out, I'm going to step out correct. All right? I don't want to have this dark hair. I want to have a beautiful color like I've always had. And I'm working it to get it to where I want it to be. Okay? Because my hair is highlighting my face. And yes, it is. It's like, there you are, Miss Lisa. Yes. You see that? That's right. And it's got to be worked on. Right? Because you don't want to damage your hair, so you do it little by little. And it'll get there. And that's the way I see it. I'm letting everything come. And I'm on a passenger seat. Actually, God is driving me around right now. He's showing me a good time. That's what he's doing because while I'm sitting here chilling, God is teaching me a lot more lessons that I need to learn about me so I can be complete as one. For who? For this man that he's bringing into my life. All right? You, do you understand, Pisces? Prepare yourself because you all on different levels. For what's coming for you, get yourself right because it is coming. All right? I don't know what stage you're on, but you can be in all different stages. But this card reading is beautiful. All right? It is real. It's the realest. All right? And here you got the nine of wands. All right? So the wands, again, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And what I love about this is that um, you got pinnacles. And you got cups. But guess what you don't have? is swords. And that is good. You know why? Because it ain't you and your thoughts. You are going with the flow. And that's what I'm talking about. Going with the flow. It ain't no swords. It's going with the flow. We got every sign. The only sign you did not pick was the swords. And that is huge. Because it's telling me that you're not in your thoughts anymore. Did someone that's not pierced in your heart? Did you know where you want to go? Because you said, well, God, if, if he ain't in my life right now, I'm going to be like Miss Lisa. Take the will, God. I'm on the passenger seat. I'm going with you and going with the flow. And you know why? Because I put my life in your hand because I know for a fact you ain't going to do nothing bad to me because you love me. And you created me. You are the creator. Do you understand? That is beautiful. That is huge. Okay? Do you understand? Do you understand that you have new, new, brand new. It smells new. You got to pop the tags off. The car smells good. The, the house smells good. It smells new. Everything. You go outside and you're breathing that air. Okay? Because that's what you're breathing. Good air. Right? That's beautiful. Okay? Here you go. The nine of wands. I push beyond my own. Okay? My own persevere and what limitations. And I remain open and trusting as I do. Who do you trust? God. Where did I say you was? On the passenger seat. Who's driving your car? God. And if you are with someone in a relationship, a good relationship, guess what? That person, God gave them the key to your car. And they're driving you. And you're going with the flow. Because now you are in the passenger seat. Not the driver. You're not going to direct. Someone is directing you. Which is beautiful. Because the, for, for the first time in your life, you're not giving. You are receiving. You got that? 
Do you understand? And this reading is for people that left all that crap alone and is looking for the new. And new, it smells new. It ain't saying nothing about nobody coming from the past, um, coming back. To, it don't say none of that shit. This is brand new. Okay? Brand new. Brand new house, brand new car, brand new job, brand new career, and a brand new life, and a brand new love, relationship, good, all right? So if you're not in any of this, <coughs> and you're still there, then it's not for you. You're still there. You are still there. This channel right today is not for you. Why? Because you're still there. This is for new. Brand new. It don't say one thing about no past. It said new. All right? You got that? And I got to read it like it is. I ain't making shit up. It's brand new. And you know, I'll tell you if it was. All right? And it says determination. Realization. Okay? Defining. The last defense. The final push to what? To get what you want and what's coming. Finding that um, motivation in your face. Okay? Finding the motivation when you face this difficult, difficult situation is the motivation that says you are there. You're there. Okay, focus, you're there. And it says, the need to open up and trust people. Holding on to old stories, the need to let go of old battles, the need to follow the thoughts and finish what you started. Okay, what you started. Trip, uh, um, Trip by your own boundaries and giving up. You ain't got time for none of that. You got time to let all that shit be and move on to trusting and opening yourself to love. Do not stop love because you've been in a battle all your life with love. Open up. Open up to new love, to fresh love. To abundance. Finish what you were started to do. Finish it. Finish that project because that project right there is bringing new things to you. New people that want the best for you. Do you understand? Okay. And it says, don't give up now. You're almost there. As soon as it's around the corner towards success, something may surface that threaten your feelings or security or um, achievement. It's important to remember how far you come. Something may come up or may surface to threaten all this new. And it may be something that you had in the past that may be wanting to come back. I don't fucking know. But your name, you need to know that don't let nothing threaten what you got going on. Because you got something good coming. And you don't need to keep fighting your demons. Let God fight that battle. Okay? Because God wants you to have the best. Remember, he is driving you. He's driving you there. Okay? It says, don't see the major. Don't see the minor little things that might discourage you to not move on. They're minors to you. They're little. And let me tell you, they're not major. They're minors. That means they become smaller and smaller. Remember, you on a plane. And remember I told you, as you go up, you start seeing things smaller and smaller where they're going to disappear. But sometimes people always seem to want to come back. Right? And then that threatens what you got going on because now they're trying to make you go to the 
opposite side of what God says to go to. All right? So step into your realistic and let that stand. Okay? One final push to complete this task. Tomorrow, stunning lights. Okay? You can rest. And it's saying, <clears throat> you almost there, honey. You almost there. You see them lights? They shine in the way. But remember that while you go into that light to finish everything off, you still gonna have people coming to you. All right? Coming to you saying, oh, we can work this out or things can be different. Remember what I said. Remember what I said. Don't take your focus off on God because he's the driver and he's taking you to different new places that you need to be. Don't be discouraged by nobody trying to fuck you in your heart and trying to make you see different. All right? Because they're going to come and try. All right? Now, um, the shadow of the car suggests that you are making things harder than necessarily. The shadow, the dark side of it, you're trying to make things harder than what it seems. Why are you, why are you making it hard on yourself, right? It says being over defensive. You may even be, um, you may also be making these crazy choices and making it more difficult than it is. You <clears throat> have to make this past that difficult because you don't believe or you don't believe you don't believe, okay, in yourself because you don't believe you can do this. You don't believe that you can do this. You don't believe that you can move on. You don't believe that it's better. You don't believe what I told you, that everything is good. You don't believe. you still guessing yourself, all right? Um, on some level, the healing and the essence should be difficult. So on some level, you're making it very difficult for yourself to see yourself there. Sometimes we become so immersed with our story arising up that our own shadow becomes romantically natural that we seek to define sometimes you are so fucked up in the past relationship and romance that you sometimes people look at you so romantically that you hide from it because the problem is you so used to being in relationship that do not want nothing good for you. And you always the driver that you used to that. It's almost like you come immune to it. And that is your life. You don't know no better. So that's what you keep looking for. But I'm here to tell you. That if you give that key to God and allow him to take the wheel and drive you, you're going to get everything you want. But you got to want it. Okay? You got to look for different, not the same. All right? You got that? Um, let go of any ideas you have about um, navigating a uh, 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 um, a certain lessons on the path. Let go of navigating instead of going with it, you navigating it. Like, instead of going with the flow, right, you're fighting it. Instead of going with the flow, 
you're going to drown. Instead of going with the flow, you're going to get burnt. Instead of going with the flow, you're going to get locked up, right? In situations that you can't come out of again. Let it go. Go with the flow, all right? Your time to relax into a secure and success is on the horizon. If you let it go, you will be very successful because you need to rise up to where you need to be. You don't need nobody sitting there um, looking at you, all right, and you got all this coming to you but you're still looking at the past. And everybody's in the dark. Ain't nobody in no fucking light. They in the dark. Why? Because you know what you can do. Because you got it right here. Okay? Alright? Or, you know, somebody is one. Somebody here was good. Was all good. Started off really good. Okay. Somebody is good here. This is infinity. This is toasting to it all, right? Working together with cooperation at a project that's going to be good. And in the mix of all of that, Somebody wants to take you off balance. Why? Because you are so used to living a crazy life that that's what you are immune to. You need to breathe good air in and know your worth. And when you know your worth, that's when you succeed all of this because you're looking at what is to come. <coughs> But the nine of wands is when you look at it, right, <coughs> what is to come, you got to remember one thing about what is to come, all right? You got to remember that you push beyond, be, you push beyond your own persevere limitations, all right? And you remain open to trust. As you do, you push him beyond it, beyond anything you ever been in. You push him beyond it, right? And that's when you know that you can remain open and trust as you do. As you cross over, as you cross everything about you over, all right? then you can accept what it is because you're not fighting it. You're crossing over. Okay? You're not letting nobody stand in your way. You're crossing. You're pushing them. You're like, get out of here. Get the hell out of here. I want better for me. Get away from me. I've been there. Leave me alone. I've been there already. I'm pushing with everything I got in me. Away from all of this bullshit. Okay, I'm pushing because what I trust as I do, I trust in who? I trust in God to push me away from all of it and bring me to where I need to be. Because why? Because I trust in God. And as I trust in God, right, to see this whole new me, I got to accept it. I'm not going to go against God, right? I'm embracing. I'm trusting in him, but I'm pushing my limitations so hard that I can, I can literally feel it. Mm. I'm pushing myself through that shit, okay? Honey, do you know how you, um, you take your hands, right, when you go to the store, right, and that door doesn't, open on his own and or you go to the um um any restaurant and the door don't open up for you or it don't open up you got to push that door you you push that door to open up right and if you got a good man 
that good man says, baby, stand back. Let me open up the door for you. And you walk through. He opens the door for you. That's what I'm talking about. Now, check this out. <clears throat> you got someone, God, this person, this new person is coming, opening the door for you to walk, right? You got that? Do you understand? Rather than you open the door to go in, somebody wants to open the doors for you now, for you to walk through gracefully, rather than you opening the door for you to walk yourself through. No, God said, let me bring someone that's going to open doors for you to walk through. Okay? Instead of you forcing that door open to walk through it, God says, I give you someone that will open the door for you, for you to walk through, open up your car door for you to get in, Okay, open up your door to your house for you to walk in because now they're opening the doors up for you. You no longer got to carry the groceries and shut the car and open up your door with all your groceries struggling to get in with all the stuff you got in your hand. It ain't that way no more. It's saying let someone open doors for you so you can walk in instead of you Pulling that door open with all the girls you try to walk in there, dropping all the shit everywhere. Okay? Do you understand where you at? Go with it and not go against it. Okay? Because everything is beautiful for you. And it's telling you. It's literally telling you all what it is. It says, joy, the delight in love of life and brings the spirit of fun to all that you do. You can't make it up. It says, tolerance, you approach others, you approach other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. So, okay, you got to tolerate shit and they got to tolerate shit. It's a give and take. It's a balancing. You're not bigger than them. They're not bigger than you. You got to tolerate each other in a good way, in a healthy way. All right? Um, what you putting in front of you? You put yourself, right? Because you don't want to count, right? You understand that when you improve, okay, you manifest love in all situations. When you put yourself first, when you put you first, not everyone, you, when you make yourself first, okay, right? And you put God, when you wake up and you say, you say your prayers, before you brush your teeth or anything else, before you look at yourself, you pray to God while you in the bed, right? You made that a priority to do that, right? Then when you do that, you understand, okay, that the importance of manifesting love in all your situations because you put God before anyone, and that means you put yourself he didn't create no damn dummy. He created you to be smart as shit. And that's what he's saying. All right? It says, gold. You don't need no one else to fix you. You don't need nobody to fix you. Fix your damn self. You the one. You're your best friend and your worst enemy. You don't need no one. To fix you. That means don't get into a relationship that you need someone to fix you. You don't need that. You don't need nobody to, to approve any damn thing of you, about you. They with you because they found something in you that they like. And so you need to keep the flame burning and don't blow it out. Okay?
Oh my God, these cards are so big. And it is, all right, here we go. All right, feathers, think first before you judge. Think before you judge, okay? We got enough people judging the world. Think before you judge because you're going to work around people. This is working with something together in the same right there. Um, let people come with their ideas and take it and listen to them. Don't say, oh, what you, ah, that don't make no sense. Because you don't never know that that person there is literally giving you some good advice. All right? And you may not want to hear it, but they're only telling you something you need to know. And it says, you never needed those wings to fly. You don't need this. It's saying push beyond your limits. Beyond. Push it. Because you're going to go right through it. Push this. The nine of wands, you can get there without fighting it. And it says you don't need no wings you never did because you can fly. If you believe it, you can do it. Okay? If you believe that you can fly and you can touch the sky, baby, you can do it. Because what you need to do is keep that in your head. That you believe that you can fly. And that you can be believe that the horizon is so far up. But you can touch it. Because the more you reach for it, the more you're going to grow. Okay? You got that? What you believe you can do, you can do. You can do anything you want. Okay? And it says, listen to the wisdom. Listen to it. Stay still enough that, so you can listen to the sounds around you. The birds, the echoes, whatever it is. Focus. Okay? Sun and the star. You're looking at it. You pointing. You're looking up at the sky. Up at that sun. Okay? You, that sun is piercing at you. But you got the wands looking, you pointing the wands at the moon. That means you're looking at that like it was, and you're looking at the sun. Actually, it's upside down now. The night becomes the bottom, and the day becomes the top. Do, do you got that? Your, your nights become your days. All right? Did you get that? Your nights become your days now. All right? And it says, accept love, open up, and trust, all right, because this is beautiful. And I see Valentine's here. I see candy, and it got a heart. So are they arriving around Valentine's? Who knows? <clears throat> it says hearts, and it says Valentine's. That's what it says there. Hearts and Valentine's. Open up and receive what you're going to get. All right? <clears throat> it's things that you need to finish. That you started. And you need to finish these things. Because... You're sitting there, but you need to finish something that was not finished, okay? And it says, and when you do all that, that's when you come to rise with your money and you grow in brick by brick. Somebody, whoever's coming in your life, is going to be beautiful to you. And it says you're going to be taking trips. I see suitcase. I see a parrot. Parrot that says you're going to be traveling where you see exotic birds, exotic birds, okay? And this is something new that's coming your way. But 
you got to allow it to unfold naturally. Because someone wants to open up your doors. Someone wants to take care of you. Someone wants to love you. And if you believe in it, you're going to get it. Because you can believe because you don't need wings to fly. If you believe you can fly, you can fly. If you believe you can touch the skies, you're going to do it. Because that's all you know is that you believe in what you want and you're going to get it because you want it, you're creating it. Okay? Forgiving and learning. Okay? As you release and heal from your past, you experience more love in your present moment. Let the past be. Let it go. All right? Free yourself. It's time for you to take back control of your life. All right? All right, because someone around you or in this relationship, and this is not the top reading, this is the love reading. <clears throat> this is your love reading now, okay? Someone in the relationship, and it says, forgive and learn. As you <clears throat> release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moment, all right? And you free yourself from this shit. But someone <clears throat> that you was with or in the past or whatever is wearing a fake mask. That means they see another people. That's your past. That's your past, okay? That is your past. Or it may be, it, it's got to be my past because I ain't with nobody at all. But for those who are in relationship, it's telling you. Someone in your, who you with is wearing a fake mask, okay? On, on, I should have stopped the reading over there. This is not what's on the top this is what's on the bottom because i always like to give y'all y'all love at the end because y'all like that shit and it ain't about me because i don't have this i could give two shits all right you're going to be traveling and you're going to be meeting new people all right brand new people mystery magical mystery you're entering uh, an unknown territory you're going to be traveling. So, of course, you're going to be me coming into um, a place you don't know nothing about because it's all new to you, right? And you're rising from this shit right here that don't mean shit anymore. You're rising from it. You're rising, honey. Like, you're leaving that shit going. And you're rising. It says drama, obstacle, <clears throat> patterns. Finding the strength to rise from someone being deceptive to you. From someone lying and cheating and just being no good. You're rising from that shit. You are rising. You're like, bye-bye. Goodbye. See you later. Because the only one they cheat on is themselves. The only one that they're using is themselves. Because you're going to be leaving them asses by they damn self and moving on. So who get the last laugh you do? Because... They're missing out on a good thing. And they are because you're not coming back. All right? It says, this is them. I regret lying to you. I guess you did. Who fucking, I don't care. It, to me, it don't matter. It says, I couldn't let you get, I couldn't let you get close to me. Good. Keep me far from your ass. Bye. It says, I left you when I saw you with somebody else. I could give a fuck who they see me with. Good. You see me with somebody else, good. I don't give a fuck because I ain't got to explain shit to you. And I don't give a fuck who told you. If they did see me with somebody else, I don't give a shit. Good that you see me with somebody else. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't care. All right? I really don't. It says, please don't take what happened personally. It's not you. It's me. I ain't taking shit because I let it go. Okay? We still be together again. You think so, right? He <laughs> he. I feel they feel damaged 
like I just couldn't do this. They feel like they couldn't do it. You're right, you couldn't do it because you didn't want shit from the beginning. You wanted everything for you. You didn't want enough for us. And you didn't want shit with me. So, okay. Who cares? Lucky break, Pisces. The clock is ticking. And it's telling you it's almost your time. <clears throat> The clock is ticking for you to find out all the truth. And guess what? It's a lot of secrets. A lot of secrets. But this book is not open. It has locks. And I don't give a flying shit about none of that bottom shit. Because I'm done with it. It ain't nothing they can tell me that would surprise me about what I would find out about them. Because I already know. I've been with them, done it. They ain't never going to change. That's who they are. They don't match me. That muscle, that piece that was missing, that puzzle. Girlfriend, I threw the whole fucking puzzle in the trash. Because you're not for me and I ain't for you. Okay? I'm not for you. I don't give a fuck what nobody tells me. I don't care if you were screwing my sister and my cousin in the same bed. Okay? I could give two fucking shit. Who you fucking and who they seeing? I don't care. Because I'm not part of your... I'm not part of you decepting me. Because you don't exist to me. So whatever you do, you do. And guess what? Well, who you do it with is who you do it with. Because damn it, I rise from all that shit. I rise and I left you alone. Bye. And guess what? You're damn right you feel left out because I'm done. And um, you feel some type of way, good feeling. And keep your fucking, all your secrets to yourself. Because I don't care to know about none of it. Honey, if the whole <clears throat> universe was on national TV saying, Lisa, so-and-so did this and doing this. Guess what I'm going to do? Politely turn the TV off and you're going to become dark because I don't see you. And I don't care about what you do and what you don't do and who you with. I don't care anymore about you. You got that? I done moved on and I'm waiting for good things to come to me. I'm waiting for real shit, not fake shit. Okay? Um, Like... I'm, I'm popping t tags off of my clothes. I'm popping tags off of my car. And I'm signing, signing checks for new places in the go. Okay? On trips. And it ain't you. Because you don't want nothing good for me. And you never did. And you was dreaming a dream in your own fucking head. Because I didn't have no source. On my whole reading. That means I am down with you. And all this bottom shit. Honey. They can keep that shit. Because I don't have none of it going on. In my life. Because baby. That deception. That's in my past. Not in my present. Alright. Because I will good for delete. Anything that ain't right for me. Because I know. That God got a better plan for me. And it's bigger. Than I can even imagine. And you're damn right. I got that man that's saying, baby, move on. Step aside, baby. Let me open up the door for you. Okay? Yes. 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 All right? Uh-huh. We go out the door. You all right, baby? Let me open up the door. He ain't even going to say open up because I'm a no. Because I'm going to have a gentleman. A king. That definitely knows that when he's when he stands, people are looking at him. Take care of me. Treat me good. Acknowledging me. Not having wondering eyes all over the damn place. Not wanting to sleep with me and everybody else. Not lying to me. Okay? Want the best for me. That's what I want. 
I don't want nobody that is still acting young, minded, and want a bunch of bullshit and coming to me with drama. I don't want that. Okay? I'm used to smelling trash. But now I trash trash. If it don't taste right, I trash it. I don't even swallow it. I dump it right out my mouth, spit it out. All right? Because now I know when I see it coming. I can smell shit when I see it coming. All right? That's what I do. It don't look good and don't taste good. And I know it don't. Now I smell it. Now I know what I don't want. And that's what I'm talking about. Wherever y'all at in your life, if y'all want this bottom reading about the love in your life, go right on ahead because I don't even acknowledge it. I don't at all. I go to bed beautiful. Okay? It ain't nothing in my conscience that's telling me about you. It's telling me about me. I got a clean conscience. It ain't nothing fucked up. Because I've learned to forgive myself in order to gain myself. See, that's the difference. I forgave me for allowing you to use me and trash me. I had to forgive me in order to forgive you so that when I see you and if I ever see you cross my path, I can look at you and say, how you doing? And keep on moving. All right? Because I know already what you're about. And I'm not going to go back there with you. Okay? I know what you're about. I want to smell everything rosy. Smell good. Smell the natural scent of flowers. And that crispy dollar bill. All right? And popping tags off my clothes. Signing checks to new cars and new homes. And tickets to fly. That's what I'm talking about. You're not taking me back to the dark ever again. Okay? Because it ain't nothing blindfolding me. I see you straight through the light. And that's where I'm at. So wherever you at, Pisces. Wherever you at. And I hope that this bottom reading is not none of y'all. Because trust and believe me. Do not claim the bottom of the reading of this love bullshit. Don't claim that because I'm not claiming that in my life. I'm claiming good. I want the top part of the reading. Brand new man with brand new shit that wants a brand new me. All right? Not the bottom. The top. Okay? Because my dark shifted to the light. And that's the way I want to keep it. I believe. I believe. I can fly and I don't have no wings. I believe that I can touch <clears throat> that sky. That I can go for the horizon. I know and I believe it. And I'm claiming it. You got that? All right, Pisces, I love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. May God continue blessing you. And please don't claim the bottom. Because the bottom, mm -mm. and if you're there, you definitely need a car reading. Because you need to know who you are and where you're going. Can't nobody and nobody should be telling you and you be stuck. Stuck in what you used to be in all your life. All right? You don't need to be there. You don't need to have somebody be in your life because you need them to watch your kids while you work or be there. And that's all they're doing is using you. Okay? Using you. Showing you in your face that they don't want you. Showing you in the face that they fucking someone else. Showing you in your face that you don't even matter. But I got a roof over my head because you making sure they do. Uh-uh. No, that is not. And if that's you, go get a personal reading from anybody. If that's you. Because I'm not claiming the bottom. I claim the top. All right? And I'll see y'all later. Bye.